Okay, let's do a short introduction to Siren. First of all, what you need on your PC is a fully functional kegs uh, installation. Up to you to download the latest kegs uh, executable right on the kegs website. Make sure you can run, you have your um, disk image and everything uh, is fine. Second time, you need to go on the Brutal Deluxe website, download Siren and Kegs Siren uh, all together as a package and install usually on the same folder that you have previously Kegs and in this time you start Kegs Siren which is the modified version of Kegs containing the Siren layer. Nothing has changed, it should work exactly um, like your regular kegs. Only little difference, if you did decide to display the output window, you should see a line like uh, kegs, kegs to siren in the session completed. Uh, that's a good uh, thing. You can keep, if you want, uh, this window uh, just to see what happened. Let's say that you now uh, you can start uh, Siren uh, and put the window here. Siren is a Windows application. For the moment, nothing else to do. Let's start uh, the to analyze directly on the Kegs emulator. Let's start the game. Let's start here. And now it's time to connect to, to software. The way co Siren connects to Kegs is simply by this button. Uh, where you select the window name of your kegs. If you have several kegs running, up to you to select the, the right window. As soon as you have selected uh, the window, kegs freeze, and now Siren has the control. So now kegs, uh, Siren can be seen as a remote controller for kegs. I can also describe, also describe Siren as a logic analyzer pumping information from uh, kegs and uh, having an interface to uh, display everything. So let's see and let's take a few seconds to uh, cover the interface of uh, Siren here. Basically, what do we have? Uh, you have several menu. Of course, you have a um, fast access button in the action menu. The first part of the main window contains the list of all operations run by the microprocessor. Uh, <clears throat> the second part, large part here, is uh, the disassembly window. So currently here we are uh, reading the vertical counter because we are in a loop to wait for something. Uh, if I want to continue to run the software, I simply click on run and the software run here. So uh, let's start the game. No! If I want to stop, I can stop directly here. Okay. On this part, I have the current stack of call of all functions. So probably I have a function named play game, which itself call function play level, which itself call uh, function sprite engine and so on. Here we have a trace for uh, system call. Uh, for the moment I was not checked, so there is nothing, but it could be uh, um, full a little, uh, a little bit sooner. Um, on the lower part, we are the status of the connection. Currently I am connected uh, with kegs. Uh, the hardware uh, emulated by kegs is a ROM O3 Apple 2GS having 5 uh, megabytes of RAM. I have loaded symbol file and breakpoint already uh, into Siren. Uh, currently I'm not recording my operation but if I start to do it all operations here <clears throat> are now kept in memory and I have already kept 28 million of operations for 95 million of cycles. Uh, the total size of all these operations in memory are currently 596 megabytes. Okay, I can of course save uh, the operation uh, in a file at any time. Uh, the global operation ID is a unique number for all operations run by cakes from its beginning. So it's a kind of number that always is increasing, so it's a way to know where we are. Um, and this number can be also fine uh, a bit, a bit everywhere uh, in the software. It's a kind of reference. The Q is a number of data sent operation data, so uh, basically line like this, sent by cakes to Siren, not yet processed. So if I'm running, the queue size sometimes can increase. Okay. When I'm stopping, I need to have the queue empty before uh, getting anything here. If I'm running, exit, stopping again, I can, of course, run by making some stop, uh, making some rerun, um, and so on. I can go instruction by instruction. 
I can go 10 instructions by 10 in, in, in instructions. I can go 1,000 and so on, you understand. I can also directly uh, jump to the end of a subroutine or at the beginning of a new one, for example. If I want directly to go on a specific line, I simply need to click on it and click on highlight. So it will go uh, over all the function and so on. And here we go. This is convenient where you have to wait in the middle of the loop and you want to go to exit from the loop. Uh, you simply uh, click outside of the loop. Here, what we can see, we can see we have labels and everything in uh, in blue because of the load of the symbol. Symbol file and breakpoint has been loaded already in memory because on the preference file, I have asked for the reload of the configuration and symbol are already loaded automatically. <clears throat> and they are located on, on my PC. The symbol file, of course, is linked to the software currently running. There is two types of view you can get. You have the type of view, uh, which is uh, basically a view of what is in the Apple 2GS memory. So it's something you can ask for uh, memory area, data, and so on. Every windows from the interface can be uh, resized. So for example, on this case, you can resize both uh, in both directions. In this case, you don't, you can't resize, but you can uh, use uh, the zoom to increase the size if needed. Uh, when it's time for uh, to analyze uh, a code for disassembly part, once again, you can increase the size and use button to uh, to move inside uh, your uh, disassembly part. Okay, some location, for example, the memory map uh, showing the interaction. Uh, of uh, what the software is doing memory by reading, writing, and so on. You can, of course, you have some button where you can reset. Some data are kept, uh, are updated in real time. For example, here I'm receiving the information and we can see that it is modified in real time at the opposite. Some parts only are only uh, refreshed at the end of the queue when the queue is empty. Uh, finally, the part, uh, for example, the graphic part uh, is, for example, currently on the uh, software I have that, this is all the old one, and as soon as the queue uh, will be uh, empty, I will receive an update of the uh, window. Let's take uh, one or two seconds to get them at the end of the queue. We receive the memory startup and now we can update. So some parts are updated in real time because they are, they are based on uh, the content uh, of the operation data. Some other parts are updated only at the end of the sequence. So the idea is not to let the queue to be too big. It's better to, uh, and also the idea is not to record what you don't need. Here I have already 8 gigabytes of RAM and it's not going to uh, help. Uh, of course, it's faster when you do not uh, record the operation. Uh, you have capability to um, save and extract information uh, to the disk. So as I said before, you can save your operation list. You can uh, save some data part. For example, uh, if you want to save a part of the memory, uh, you just define something uh, and uh, you give a pass, uh, um, a file pass. And so it's going to take uh, 8,000 bytes in hexadecimal from location in the RAM from 01, 2000, and it will going to create the file. So you have the capability to save a file. Uh, you have also, you can do also the opposite. It means that uh, take a file located on your hard drive and push them in the memory of kegs. Uh, you have the capability, of course, to search uh, for uh, string or anything, byte and, and so on, in uh, all part uh, of, the, of the memory. So you can control uh, kegs by simply uh, going uh, small by small part. Uh, you can see what happened. You can analyze the content of the memory. When you are over, you simply have to click on detach. And in this case, and in this case, you are no more controlling the emulator. You can quit Siren at any time. You can reload Siren, uh, Kegs and Siren uh, live together, but in a different space. So up to you to once again reattach here uh, and start again. 
this button has been used to clear everything. Uh, so it's a way to say, okay, I keep my window open, even the one which was already there with, for example, a specific location included some parameter uh, <clears throat> define. Okay, so if I need to reset completely the operation, I do that. I can connect again, but uh, I keep all my window open with all my settings. So it's pretty convenient when you are, uh, you are you have to restart Siren many times because something has moved in your code and you need to restart the, the software you are running on. At least you keep all of your window uh, open, but this is a, a way to say, okay, I clear everything, I stop everything and I reload all my symbol, my breakpoint and so on. It's a kind of uh, refresh start, <clears throat> but without losing, everything which has been open um, you simply close what you can do also and you can when you have uh, the data in memory of the apple 2gs the 5 megabyte you can save it uh, directly in a file with name a memory snapshot so here you directly create a memory snapshot of every memory of the apple 2gs so 5 megabyte uh, it's a software it's a file you can reuse uh, later for, for analysis you can also reload it to analyze it later Okay, every part of the software like breakpoint, uh, disassembly, data, and so on is covered by <clears throat> specific little video of about five minutes each. So you can continue your journey using this kind of video. Bye-bye.